I want to bring in Nathaniel Rakish, senior elections analyst at 538. Nathaniel, uh, you and our friends over there at 538 have been doing a deep dive into the data during these indictments. What are the polls telling you now? Yeah, so basically the polls suggest that this could be the most serious offense that Trump is facing. So there was a recent poll from YouGov and Yahoo News, which basically asked how serious do you think uh, each of these allegations against Trump is? And um, this first allegation, <coughs> excuse me, the allegation about um, conspiring to overturn an election, 71% of voters said that this would have been a serious crime. Um, similarly, 69% of voters said that um, obstructing the certification of a presidential election would be a serious crime. Now, if you compare these to the other indictments, um, only 64% of, of, of voters said that, uh, that the classified documents would have constituted a serious crime, and only 50% would have thought that, uh, that the hush money payments to Stormy Daniels Daniels would constitute a serious crime. So it seems like this one is kind of a, a notch above for Americans. Right, so what you're saying here, the, if the polls seem to show that Americans are viewing this January 6 charges as very serious, as you point out, what implications then does that have for the upcoming 2024 election? Yeah, exactly. Obviously, there are two phases that Trump needs to get through. He's an active candidate right now in the Republican primary, and that's obviously Republican voters are the ones who are going to be most defensive of him in this case. Um, so after the first indictment, you actually saw his support rise in the Republican primary. And after the second indictment, it kind of remained flat. Maybe it went down a little bit if you squint. Um, and so this third one, that's the question, right? But um, I'm not sure that it's going to be a huge detriment to him there. In the general election, of course, it's a different matter. And in the general election, what we saw with his kind of overall favorable favorability numbers among Americans, um, they stayed flat after the first indictment. They did dip a bit after the second indictment. It'll be interesting to see, given those numbers we just saw from YouGov, um, whether you know Americans do take this one more seriously and maybe his favorability numbers go even farther down now. All right, we'll wait and see. And despite a majority of Americans, at least at this point, believing that some sort of crime took place, 538 found that January 6th case might actually not be Trump's biggest vulnerability. So what does that mean? Yeah, exactly. So you had that YouGov poll that basically asked in the abstract, you know, wh which of these is a serious crime or, you know, how do you think this is a serious crime? But when you ask if people thought that Trump did something illegal specifically about Trump, um, it kind of came, the January 6th case kind of came in between the classified documents case and the, uh, um, and the Stormy Daniels case. Only 45% of Americans thought that he had done something illegal in connection with January 6th. So I think on balance, we're looking at either the classified documents case or the January 6th case being the most serious for Trump, with the Stormy Daniels case being a distant third. All right, Nathaniel Rakic uh, from 538, thank you so much for your time. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.